Alright guys, so here's a collection update, and I got a couple of new models, so I figured I'd make one and tell you what I have coming. So, unlike the other ones, I'm not going to go through every single model, but I'll go through uh, ones that catch my eyes, and I think that you would find interesting. So, the first new one I have here is the CCM 385 and 148 scale, and I... Uh, it it seems like there is a difference of it from 148 to 150, th but it I it's really just a number and it's really not that far off. But it it does seem quite quite big. But either which way, incredible model. Uh, one cool feature is the opening door. But there'll be a review of that up if it's not up already. I'm not sure when I would put this video up. But uh, check out the pictures in the link below because it's really an incredible model. My other new one is the Bolverhof EC460C. And this is an NZG piece. 150th scale. Demolition version, obviously, with the shear. Uh, next one is the Hitachi 1000K three piece boom in Van Gron Groningen. I'm not exactly sure how to say it. I just called the green one. Uh, very, very nice model. And here's the orange version of it. And here's some other models. Uh, up here we have the Bauer. BG40 in Malcolm colors. And some other models. Here's the High Reach 1000. Now, there is one more livery in the three-piece boom besides this green and this orange one and that is a yellow one I'm not sure on what company company it is but I'm thinking of getting that one within the next three months because it would since I already have two out of three it would make sense to get the next one and plus they are nice models so I'm not sure if other models are going to get in the way of that but I would like to get that as soon as possible so I could have the set they make the white version of the high reach, but I, I very much doubt that I'm going to get that one because I like the three piece version better. And I, I may have told some people that I like the high reach version better, but when it comes down to it, and after having two of the three piece ones, I like the three piece one better. Not saying this is not a great model, but I personally am a fan of the three piece boom one. Here's some mobile cranes. And some trucks and concrete pumpers and whatnot. Go to my older videos to check out uh, in detail each one. And there's the Vomit 455. Um, now coming down here. I finally put the, well my brother actually did it, but um, the 16,000 is finally reassembled. This is the one that you've seen on the Nelson Ramp trailers, um, but it's finally put back together. It's got a straight boom on it, and uh, I like this model a lot to mess around with. Here are the two Nelson Ramp trailers, and if you notice, uh, the ramp is off them, both of them now, because uh, it was just, that ramp was getting in the way. Especially when these are just mainly here to haul crane loads and whatnot. Here's the AC500. Interestingly enough, the table is not level at all for some reason. I don't know why. And uh, I had to add, this is actually a half inch of wood to make it level. But the other side, there's a quarter inch. And put, put two quarter inches on top of each other makes half inch. So it's, it's actually level now. And uh, it it can't have that much counterweight in real life. It can only have 180 tons in real life. I think this is something like 210. I, I think it's only supposed to have that much. I'm really not too sure. My brother knows exactly. And it's at a pretty low radius. It's looking the plate. Uh, here are the YCC shackles and some chokers. Um, and here, here's another new model that I got, the Cat 963D, which is a great, great model. I, I like this thing a lot. Uh, for only 40 bucks, you really can't go wrong. And some other models. Here's the 4x4 with the tag trailer. 
and the models down here and the big 18,000 and uh, it's got my custom super column on it that uh, pieces to scale I know it looks huge but the real one is huge now if you want if you wonder what models I'm gonna get at the end of this month I, I'm not able to get that many because the money that I spent with this was actually money that uh, I borrowed from my savings and I had to replace it with the money that I get at the end of this month and this cost I think it was like two nine two eighty as I got overnight shipping with it because I wanted it as soon as possible so I'm probably only gonna have around a little over 300 to spend and I'm probably going to get the mass excavator version of this which is the 390 DL ME because they're such nice models and I heard the mass excavator is selling quicker than this one which I in that case you're probably wondering why I didn't get the mass excavator first it's because I like the standard boom better and if I don't get the mass excavator it's really not gonna bother me but I would like to get it. Uh, it's not on the top of my list, but I need to get it before it sells out. And I am have a little bit extra money, so I, I might buy another 963D or I might buy something else new. But I'm only going to have like 40 50 bucks extra. So there's not really much I can buy for that price. But I'll see what I can get. So that's what I'm going to get at the end of this month. Uh, I don't think I'll change my mind on it. Uh, I very highly doubt that I will. But if I do, I'll let everyone know on the, on the fan page. Um, again, probably will not, but you never know. Uh, then after that, I, I might get, which is, that would be at the end of April and the beginning of May. Uh, I would like to get the yellow version of that. And who knows after that. Uh, I also would like to get another crane model, like the 4100. I was going to get the 4100 instead of the these two right here and the track loader but I got those instead because uh, I'd rather get those instead of the 4100 because I have enough cranes but I would like to buy another crane model but uh, I, I don't know what I will get I also need to get a low boy but I've gotten so many trucks in the past six months I don't feel like spending any more money on them uh, and if you also notice I'm trying to get limited edition models because the other ones are always available but anyway hope you liked it Look forward to the mass excavator. Uh, the mass excavator looks like a beast. Uh, I wish the boom wasn't so short, but it's a mass excavator, so what are you going to do? Hope you liked the video, and uh, thanks for watching.